With F1's traditional summer break underway, now is the perfect time for us to put every team and every driver under the microscope. This week, we look at the sport's bottom five teams. Sauber has enjoyed a resurgence after a couple of seasons treading water and trying to survive. Red and white replaced the blue and yellow hues. Alfa Romeo's input not just limited to title sponsorship of the team. I'm also happy to be able to say that the Alfa Romeo Sauber F1 team will give young drivers the opportunity to show their talent, as Sauber has always done. We know we need to make a big step over the winter, but I think together with Alfa Romeo, I think we, we can take that step. And uh, realistically, I think the first target would be to, to score points and fight for points on a regular basis and then uh, build from there. Rookie Charles Leclerc has done just that. The reigning F2 champion has spearheaded Sauber's charge, putting his more experienced teammate in the shade. The Monegasque driver has also become a regular visitor to Q3 as the season's worn on. After the three first races, if you would have told us that we would be fighting on a regular basis at the end of this first half in Q3, we wouldn't have believed it, Leclerc said. So I'm very happy about the progress we have made. Ferrari's influence has been felt not only with former chief designer Simone Resta replacing Jörg Zander as technical director, but also with its 2018 power unit. Sauber is now a genuine midfield team, week in, week out. Not bad for a team that scored just seven points across its last two campaigns. TheInsideLine.com, for everything Formula One.